I think we go and keep... <gasps> Look at that! Everything is messed up here! Holy shit! That scared the hell out of me, guys! Some crazy lady! Oh my god! Oh. What's up, guys? It's Tenkosh. I played Fierce 2 Fathom for an hour and I've got my experience on this game. Um, this is a horror game and I'm not used to that, but that one got me good. It's not long. It's curious, it's indie, it's small, but uh, I found some cool things about it and I will tell you about those things right now, right here. So basically the story is about a guy who is sitting in the house, like checking it out while the main dude is away and some stories are happening, some uh, cringy moments are happening and then it gets in intensified and it gets uh, scary. I got the goosebumps and I got a few scare jumps during the game as well. I won't spoil the story though, so it will be um, uh, experience for you because this game is actually an experience. There are some good things. Like, I like the graphics, I like the style. It's like 80s videotape style with all those graphical things, you know. It, it feels good. Um, moreover, I like that it's genuine. It feels like you're actually in the house doing those things. You can interact with things, but there are drawbacks as well. The main drawback for me was that you uh, only have several episodes, like several save points, and you can start only from those. So if you lose, you can lose, you can die. If you die, then you will have to start from uh, that checkpoint. It, it might take maybe like 15 minutes to get to the point where you died. And it's not fun when you died like five times in a row. You know what to do, but you're not sure about that and then you have to do it again that's annoying another thing that i didn't like was the mm, some sequences some story sequences out there those are scripted and you can skip them so uh you have to sit there and watch tv for example for like maybe a few minutes and if you don't like it you can't do anything about it another thing like when you go into the store for example to buy groceries those are really hard to find and you will spend like 30 minutes walking around the store getting the groceries so you can imagine that for the game that lasts for about an hour spending like 15 to 20 minutes in the grocery store maybe less okay maybe i'm exaggerating but it's still a little bit too much if you ask me but the game makes up for it with a great story realistic one you got your messages you got your pc you can use google in the game not really google but you know you will feel it yourself it's fun I liked it. Uh, although I couldn't finish it because, as I said, I died a few times in the end. I know what to do, but because of small mistakes, I died again. And I was like, okay, whatever. I don't have patience for that. But overall, the game is good. If you like horror games, guys, I could recommend you this game. It's a lot of fun. Uh, if you like something like story-wise, this game might be cool. It doesn't have that much of a deep story. Like, it's a normal day of a normal person. Uh... And, like, first maybe 20 minutes aren't that full of events. Those are just a normal day. But after that, the things starting to get weird. And the tension of building up, how it builds up, is actually pretty cool. And you can feel it yourself. Like, how you're starting to be uh, worried and feared in the process of playing the game. So that was really, really cool. And also... The story events, like the story twists, are pretty cool because I was expecting evil guys to be different ones than they are actually are. And yeah, it's a little bit creepy. You will try not to spoil it to you guys, but oh my god, I was surprised. So yeah, guys, if you like horror games, you can try it. Fears to Fathom, Carolyn's House, that's episode 3. There are two more, I haven't played those. And you can get it on Steam right now, no problem. Uh, let me know in the comments what do you think about this game down below. Uh, while you're going there, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to this channel, uh, go to the video description, there are a link tree and the playlist, the playlist with other game reviews and first impressions, and the link tree with my other YouTube channels, Discord and social media, so you will find something useful there, for sure. Other than that, thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this Quick first impression, let me know what do you think about that one as well. That's about it for now. Stan Kosh out. Have a good one. Bye.